Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi everyone, we're going to talk about an exercise I call the windmill here on the Cadillac. And it's really just a variation of standing lateral flexion, um, adding a little bit of scapular arm work and um, or I could say scapular awareness and then more full range of motion in the upper spine. So I'm going to stand here on the Cadillac. And you don't, it doesn't really matter what spring, you could probably do it without a spring if you would like, but the spring just gives a little bit of more awareness into the bar. And so I have clients kind of stand a little bit to the back edge of the Cadillac here with one hand on the bar, slightly in front of the shoulder. And then the opposite free hand is resting on the horizontal bar here. And so what I have them do is they kind of initiate with this top hand and trace the bar as they push down into side bending. And so this gives a really nice stretch through the armpit and lat area while this arm is stretching down. And then they just kind of reverse that and come out. So what you're watching for here is that they are staying in the frontal plane, that the shoulders and the hips stay stacked. One of the things you might see is there would be a rotation in the pelvis, right? Or some kind of rotation in the torso. So these first few, I'm really just trying to get them to feel kind of that paper doll like feeling, reaching into pure side bending. And I'm pushing away a little bit here with this upper arm and it just helps to get the scapula going and it feels like a really nice juicy stretch. So after you get them kind of warmed up, right, with this movement, you can start to reach into what I call the windmill. So I bring the top hand off and then I start to roll my upper spine forward. I pull away from the um, bar as I lift up and reach back over. So to me, this motion seems a little windmill-like. And I'm feeling as I'm doing this that maybe I could step a little bit further away so that I can really pull away from the bar at that point. So you might play with their placement and how close they are to the bar. But what you're looking for here is to isolate the upper ribs, upper spine, the pelvis is staying stacked and tall, and that they're mobilizing through the shoulders, the rib cage, and the spine. And that is the windmill. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time, and never stop learning.